What's up you guys? Chet Guthrie the Dragon Poet here coming to you all with day 81 of my vlogging experience here in the state of Florida. Dang. Still I'm I'm baffled that I made it this long. I'm gonna shut up about it now, you won't hear it from me again till I hit day 100. But you guys, I still can't believe that I fell asleep last night on my boat while fishing that's crazy so i wanted to let you all know that today there will be a bit of a time skip as you can see we're in the morning the morning morning i have to do a little bit of work it's going to be a long shift but when i get off I am so tempted to do a 3 a.m. challenge that has been in the record books or drawing board, whatever you want to call it, for a while now. But we might do some fishing. But once we reach that, today, we'll see what happens. Let's do it. By the way, I forgot to mention the thing with my glasses was a bit more serious than I thought it was. It kind of came unscrewed. We let it go back into focus. But now I just need another bread tie. Phone, why you do this though? Oh, there we go. You, you all can see it right there. So I can't wait until I get myself a GoPro or just a smaller camera. That way, I can stop using my phone, you guys. But, I mean, the whole going in and out of focus gets gets a little annoying, I'm not gonna lie. But then again, if y'all remember from a few episodes before, yeah, I, I kind of cracked the glass that was covering it, so that might have something to do with it. But this, this is what I'm talking about. See, so it comes apart. But, I mean, it's basically the same reason why I have a bread tie on this one. So, yeah. What is up, you guys? After a long eight-hour shift, I'm done. And after a lot of good thinking about it, and a lot of pondering... A little bit of praying. I am going to do my first 3 a.m. challenge. Now you all are wondering, what is a 3 a.m. challenge? If you know what ghost hunting is, then it's something very similar. And what it is, really, is at 3 a.m., we will go to a graveyard... We will film, and we will try to catch on camera ghostly activity. Now, having said that, I know the graveyard that I'm going to is from the 1800s. It's a very old gravesite, and I know there are a lot of families around who have loved ones buried there. So, I'm being totally respectful. I'm not going to walk on any graves. I am not going to slander or yell or be of any angry intent towards whatever's out there. Because, quite frankly, you don't want to make something angry that you can't see that could really, really damage your life. So, before we get started, I think I'm going to head to the boat a little bit.
Well, since I'm waiting for 3 a.m., I'm going to fix my glasses. Well, I fixed it. So, I can see again. What I did is I used part of a bread tie, used a wire stripper, and now this one actually holds up better than this one. Yay, I can see. The time is coming, you guys. As of right now, it is 2.50. See? Kind of blurry, but 2.50. Well, nine minutes now from my 3 a.m. challenge. A little bit tired. Kind of curious to see what will happen, if anything happens. And it looks like a pretty quiet graveyard. I don't think anything terribly brutal or anything that violent has happened there. But, I'm not too, too worried. But, I'm looking forward to this. I've never done a 5 a.m., not a 5 a.m., a 3 a.m. challenge. And we're nine minutes away. I don't think you can really see my face, you guys, but... About five minutes before this 3 a.m. challenge. Remember, I'm going in there being respectful. I'm not going to be walking on any headstones. I'm going to be walking on the gravel dirt road. That is here. Going to stay for about five, ten minutes. And then we're going to leave. Maybe we'll catch something. I don't know. All right, you guys. We're wandering down the stretch of road to the cemetery. And this, I don't think you all can see it, is the front entrance. I mean, y'all can't really see anything really, but let me get a better light. Right? It begins. 3 a.m. challenge. Whoever's here, I'm not here to do any harm whatsoever. I come in peace. I'll be leaving very shortly. But, if there's anything, if there's a sign that anyone is here, could you give us a sign? Like I said, we come in peace. I'll be leaving very shortly. Would you like to say anything to the camera? Anything? Like I said, no harm whatsoever. said anyone so if there's any sign that y'all want to make that y'all are here y'all can do it now did y'all hear that I could have sworn I heard something well I don't know you guys but I think, I think we're going to head out of here, right, whatever is out here, I come in peace, do not follow me, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm leaving now, this is y'all's home, y'all have a good morning. Well, I don't know what to say. If tonight was a bust or we had some success I know while I was doing my 3 a.m. challenge I did hear something in the far corner so I don't know if we caught anything it'd be really strange in, in the comments below let me know if you heard anything or saw anything that I didn't see I mean, I know the video is kind of dark, but I'm going to try to fix that up as best I can. But still, I am satisfied, you guys. I did 
my first ever 3 a.m. challenge on the 81st day of my vlogging experience in the state of Florida. Now granted, this opens up a lot of possibilities. I really, really want to do more ghost hunting videos, especially with St. Augustine being right down the road from where I am at, which if you all don't know is the most haunted city in the United States. It is also the oldest city in the United States. So if you have a place that is more haunted than New Orleans and some of these other states, then that's, that's pretty crazy. But like I said, in the comments below, let me know if you all heard or saw anything. Having said that, remember, subscribe and hit the bell icon. That will enter you in for a chance to win a $50 Walmart gift card, as well as the first ever Dream Poet t-shirt. But there's more. You will also have a chance to win two additional t-shirts, as well as two framed photos of mine that I will never print again. So, keep up with me, a Dream Poet at Facebook, as well as my Instagram in the links below. Thank you all for the love and support. Love you all very much. I'm going to go get some sleep. <laughs>